Hey again, chemistry. So I want to continue and have more examples of balancing chemical equations. Just to kind of refresh and remind you, if we have a chemical equation, the left side of the equation, the things that you start with are known as the reactants. The arrow, we call that the yield. The things that we get at the end or the elements or compounds we get at the end, we call that the products. These little numbers are subscripts. They help you count atoms. These numbers in the front, it's not written here. But that number in the front is called a coefficient, and it's used to balance a chemical equation. And so these numbers in the front, the 6, the 6, the 6, this one has an invisible one, so it's 1. Those numbers help you balance a chemical equation to have a conservation of mass. Okay? And so we had already done these two examples in a previous video, and we could check to make sure I have the right number of atoms. I have four hydrogens because it says 2H2. Remember that little 2 is a subscript. 2H2, two, 2 times 2 is 4Hs. 1O2 means I have two O's. And then I have 2H2O. 2 times H2, again, is 4Hs. 2O gives me 2O. 4Hs, 4Hs, 2Os, 2Os. That's balanced. So just in case you're given an equation and you're asked if it's balanced, you could count using subscripts and the coefficients in front to figure out if you have the right number of atoms or an equal number of atoms on both sides. I'm going to do the same thing for number two here. I have one H2. That little subscript two means I have two H's here. Big one in the front means I have two H's. One Cl2 means I have two Cl's. Two HCl means I have two H's and two CL's. I could also draw these if I wanted to. Let's say CL's are shaded. And then I have HCL, HCL, CL's are shaded. All right, these are connected by like this. I have two H's, two H's, two CL's, two CL's. That's balanced. Now let's do more examples of balancing. Okay, so let's look at the first one over here that's not done. I have Na, and I have O2, and I get Na2O. Let's make Na a blue circle, and let's make O2 red circle. And it's O2. That little 2 means I have two O's that are connected. It's a molecule. And then on the right side, I have Na2O. So that means I have one O with two Na's. You can already begin to see that if I'm counting, I have one Na, two Na, two O's, one O. Well, let's start with one that I needed to add more of on the left side, right? I'm missing another Na. I have one Na over here and two here. That's my blue. So I need to add another Na. So right now, that's good. Am I balanced? Well, I have two Na's, two O's on the left side, two Na's, one O on the right side. And as I mentioned in a previous video, can I just do this? Can I just say, oh, let me add an O and I'm done? No, because on the product side here, there is not anything that just says O. If I wanted to add another O, I actually have to add another Na2O. And so now, my O's are balanced. I have two O's, two O's, but now my Na's are not balanced. I don't have the same number. I have two Na's over here, but now I have one, two, three, four blue Na's on the right. How can I fix this? By adding two more Na's. And now I am balanced. I have four Na's, two O's, four Na's, two O's. And I could count how many of each element or compound I have, and I could write coefficients. There are one, two, three, four Na's. That's going to be four Na. How many O2s are there? There is one O2. How many Na2Os? There are one, two Na2Os. Let me do the last one for this quick video. I have N2 and H2. Let me say N2 is shaded, H2 unshaded. And then I have NH3. N is shaded, H is unshaded. 
just by looking, I could see that I have two, N two N's over here and only one N over here. I have two H's over here and three H's over here. I'm going to need more stuff on this side. So let me start by adding N. I have two N's here, only one N here. If I want more N's, I need to add another NH3. N H3. Now my N's are good on the left and right side. I have two N's here and two N's here. We're good. I have two H's here, but one, two, three, four, five, six H's over here. Hmm. The only way that I could add H's is by adding H2. Let me see what happens if I add another H2. Okay, well right now I have one, two, three, four, and on this side I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Still not enough. Let me add another H2. Look at how I'm doing this. I'm adding it and counting. I have two, four, six H's, two, four, six H's. Now I'm good. I have two N's, two N's. I have one, two, three, four, five, six H's, one, two, three, four, five, six H's. Let me put my coefficients in. This required one N2, three H2, and two NH3s. So that's going to end this short video. I kind of walked you through subscripts, balancing, drawing particle diagrams, and counting atoms. So you could use this video to help you, especially with the assessment for this week.